<laughs> there you go, people. Mokey's, Mokey's looking for those liberal mousies out looking for a free meal. Get them, Mokey. Flush them out. Act like you're giving out free welfare. They'll come out. <laughs> hey, I wanted to talk about to like get this thing set up here. Hopefully, I'll be in camera. I want to talk about this. Uh, it's late. It's like 9:30 at night. It's a little chilly here. I'm having. Um, well, since I have kids watching, I'm having a a Diet Coke. <laughs> so, doing some grips on uh, one of my AKs. Turning out pretty good. They're drying. Nice. Stains taken well. Anyway, let's talk about the apple issue because there's several things that are going on on this apple issue. There goes Smokey chasing the mouse. For those that don't know what's going on, evidently Apple is refusing. Where's my bat? I hung my bat up here. I talk better with my bat. <laughs> so, Apple is refusing to comply with a court order to give up information on the cell phone. Now, that's the way it's being reported. I think there's more to this. And I'm going to tell you kind of what I think is going on, and again, I don't have any special knowledge, but from working cases and doing things and knowing how warrants work, etc., here's what I think is going on. And you better mark this video because it's probably the only time I kind of almost agree with the government on this one. Uh, normally, I'm not with the government, but with this one, I am, if they did it the right way. So, here's what's going on with Apple. But the guys who shot up, uh, Shit, where the hell did they shoot that place up? San Bernardino? The, the, the Muslim terrorists, I know. Shit, that's like all of them. Uh, uh, the ones that yelled Allah Akbar when they shot up and killed people. Uh, that's all of them. Uh, I think the man and the woman that worked for the county. I think it was San Bernardino. Some, some crazy left place where they got good gun control. That's why they were able to use a gun. Probably in a gun-free zone. But anyway, and it was on Christmas or something too. against Christmas. So... What happened is after they killed these guys, they, they continue their investigation for, to further, because the investigation isn't over when they die. They want to find out who they contacted, who paid them, who were they working for, who were they affiliated with, where do they pray at, who were their friends, who rented the car, who helped them with money. There's all kind of other, you know, tentacles out there on what we need to figure out on why this happened and who's connected and can we prevent another one, etc. So it's an ongoing criminal investigation, and it's going to be ongoing for a while until they close all the leads and they have no place else to go. So obviously a reasonable place to go is the cell phone that they were using and calling people with. We want to find out who they called and what's on there. So you do a warrant for cell phones. Done, done plenty of them. Hundreds. Well, maybe over a hundred for sure. So you do... You, you get the cell phone, you get the subscriber, you get their contacts, you get their text, etc. Well, there's some sort of issue with Apple to where their encryption on some of their stuff, the FBI can't get into the phone because of the encryption. So they got a warrant. Now remember, a warrant, according to the Constitution, Fourth Amendment, everybody's you know free from unreasonable search and seizure. But the Fourth, the fourth Amendment says when you, when you go to a magistrate and you prove that you have probable cause and the judge, a third party, someone not invested, agrees that you do have probable cause, they can issue a warrant. That warrant is a court order signed by a court for, for you to go search and seize evidence, etc. Now, when you get into encryption and things, if you don't know how to use it, it doesn't help you. So what happened here is Apple goes, we're not giving you the encryption so you can have the stuff. Now that's the problem. That's the problem on a, on a couple levels. One, they're violating the court order, they're obstructing an investigation, and they're refusing to cooperate. I may support them on this. It depends. I'm going to get in on, on the depend part. The government went, got a judge review and said we need this information. So I'm with the government on that. we got to get into this phone. But is there only one way to get in that phone? And kind of the way the media is reported is, it's all or nothing. You either support the FBI and give them everything they want, or you're, you should go to jail and you're an obstructionist. And that's not true. So if they did the warrant to say we can't get the encryption, and we need your expert in encryption to sit with one of our agents 
and tell us what's on this phone. Because you, when you get when you see stuff on the phone, you have to have a chain of custody. You have to say who got it. You, you know, you can't say Apple. We need this stuff. Apple can't call the supervisor and go, "Hey, man, get somebody to work on this." Then they call another work. So the warrant is served on Apple, but the they know that the person that grabs the info is in the chain of custody, and once he gets it, he secures his part, and then he gives the cops their part. So the government can later call this person and go, is this how you found it? Is there any way to tamper it? Uh, who else had access? Can you tell who had? So they can be cross-examined by the defense. Those are all good things. Checks and balances. Keeps the government from running. Hi, Moki, what are you doing? Keeps the government from, <laughs> from running out of control. Don't you rub on that can or shake it. I'll beat you. So why am I with the government? Because, because the longer we wait to get this information, since this is an ongoing, con continuing criminal offense, and we don't know if they're sales or other people, or that they triggered something, or that the person that's paying them is now paying someone else, or that the person that got them to do it is now working with the other people so we can contact them and maybe prevent another attack. So to me, it's kind of critical that this has a, this is a time limited. I'm almost a little kind of like, you know what? You waited so freaking long to get this warrant, I'm not sure the judge shouldn't say, if it was that important, you should have got off your ass and got it quick. Since you waited, and I'm thinking it's been at least a month, if not two months, since you waited so long, I'm not issuing your warrant. Because if it was so important, you would have got on it immediately. Now, here's where I got a problem on how they wrote the warrant. If they wrote the warrant like I think government did, because government wants everything, if they wrote the warrant and says, Apple, you will give us the encryption so we can get the information ourselves. And now Apple is saying if we give you the encryption, that means you can go into any phone of any of our subscribers at any time. And we know government is known to abuse power. And we know that you do shit that you shouldn't. We're not going to give you the encryption code. Now I'm with Apple. I was with the government. But if they said we want it all so we can go anytime, anywhere, I'm with Apple. Screw you. That, those are called what's called trade secrets or information that can affect somebody's patent or etc. And there's already special things in the law about that. It's kind of like illegal. If I have to search a lawyer's office because there's lawyer-client confidentiality, the court designates another lawyer, it's called special master, and he goes in, has an attorney, because he knows attorney-client privilege, and he reviews stuff, and he says, you can have this, and you can have this, you can't have that, you can't have that, and we get what the lawyer gives us. But we can't just say, you know what, we got a warrant, we want all your cases and all your clients and all your information. Why? Because the government protects lawyers. That's the only thing that our government kind of holds has an absolute protection. Lawyers are always covered, because they're all freaking liberal, they all pay big money to liberals, and they're all about promoting the government and the courts and the... You know, law lawyers are the root of all evil. Aristotle said, kill all lawyers if you ever want your country back. I mean, lawyers work for lawyers. Our system is based on lawyers working for lawyers, judges. All of our politicians have law degrees. Presidents, all the cat Law degrees is, is basically your way how to legally lie and manipulate the system in words. So we already have a system in place to protect lawyer-client confidentiality. It's called a special master. The courts can go ahead and make that same type of exception if they want and go, you know what, Apple? We don't want you to give up trade secrets, and we don't want to have the ability to go in any subscriber anytime we want. We just want this phone, and we need this information and this warrant. Now I'm back with the government. If you limit the scope of your warrant to just this phone and everything in it, I'm, I'm all for the government. They're right. Apple should comply. But if they say, we don't want just this phone, we want the code so we can get it ourselves, Smokey caught a butterfly. Dude, leave the butterfly alone. He ain't heard nothing. Go catch a mouse. <laughs> I think he ate it. All right. <laughs> Stupid cat. Don't even know damn liberal butterfly. All right. So that's why I'm with the government. So hopefully you can understand this a little bit on how warrants work. Now I could write this warrant in my sleep. This warrant is, is so stinking easy. We had a felony, we've got dead bodies on this date and time. There was these two people who are now deceased, and they shot and killed these people. They used weapons, they fled, they rented a car, 
when they left, they used a cell phone, and the cell phone has information that we deem necessity or necessary to complete our investigation and identify multiple suspects and possibly prevent other terrorist acts. So we need this information. Probable cause for this warrant isn't the issue. The issue is, what did they ask for? It's just like I can't go to the house and go, I want to search your house. I have to be very specific on what I'm looking for. Now the government gets around that by saying little things so we can look anywhere. But if I'm looking for a stolen car, I can only look where a stolen car is hidden. I can't go to your house and go, oh, you want a house? Well, I'm really looking for a stolen car, but I want to search your whole house and I want you to open your safe. And I, I can't do that because I'm looking for a car and a car won't fit in there. So the way cops get around it in the government, here's all the bootleggers. You bootleg no constitutional the, the way they get around it, they go, I'm looking, when I'm writing my warrant, we put, we're looking for a car, stolen car parts, titles to cars, stolen titles, documents that would prove the car's ownership, indicia for the residents, and that means we can look anywhere a piece of paper is that might have that information. Guess what? Now we can look everywhere. It doesn't have to be just where a car's at. The intent I think of the law is if I'm looking for a car, I can look in a garage, I can look around a property, maybe look in your living room if you're a cranker because you might have a car in there. Other than that, I can't be looking all over the place for a car. But the system's been manipulated over time and now all warrants, we always put indicia, papers, uh, parts of a car, ownership, registration, insurance of a car, so that way we can look anywhere a sheet of paper can be. So if I find a gun somewhere, the defense attorney go, you're looking for a car, why were you looking in that drawer? Well, I was looking for a sheet of paper that may have led to that stolen car. So, but now what we're doing with digital evidence is the same way. I can't say, give me all your computers, all your secret encryption, give me everything because I need something on this phone. That's not right. And I'm with Apple, if that's the case, I'm with the government that they need the information on this phone. So, you're not going to see me agree to government too many times. But in this case, I kind of do. So uh, hopefully it gives you a little better understanding on kind of what the, what the media is and telling you kind of the rest of the story on why I may agree with the government for a very short term on a very limited basis. All right, we'll end out there. Smokey, you're a good boy. Cat gave up. What are you doing, boy? Smokey, get him. Like, whatever, dude. I got my back to you. <laughs> Branded. <laughs> Anybody remember that old show, Branded? You had to walk down, everybody turned their back on you. All right, we'll end out there.